the Ramenator coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today I've got one from Dragonfly. This is their hot and sour rice vermicelli. No, hot and sour instant vermicelli. This is a sweet potato noodle coming at you out of China for the U.S. market. Complete with a disposable fork. That's fun for you, I suppose. And then you got your noodle, a bunch of sachets, what we got here. Got this one, which is a uh, little doohickey. I think, I'm pretty sure it's tofu, tofu skin. And then we got, like some cabbage and other things then we got a powder I'm not gonna do what I did the other day I put the powder in and gave it a sniff and it was like such a fine powder mm. there I go sniffing it yeah that's MSG we get a cloud no not today the other one I did the other day had a little cloud of powder coming out of it that went up my nose and boy let me tell you that was no fun at all so try not to do that today this has a really high fill line holy cow and there's some spicy I don't know that might also have, uh, it's hot and sour, so the sour comes from black vinegar most of the time. Let's see. Being specifically made, and that smells like black vinegar too. For the US market, makes me think that this one might be a little different. I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see. This brand usually has some I don't know, uh, like the, the, the Chinese flavors it comes out with are a little more tame, a little less strong. But this, this, I don't, I don't know that that's going to be the case here. We'll see. I wish they would label their sachets. That would be very helpful. That one's definitely black vinegar. It's got like a strong vinegar scent. Little extra something, something. There's little bit, bits in it too. That's not normal. Not what I've seen to date. And then we got our noodle. Let's get that going. So I said on the last episode I was going to introduce you to something new, and I'll do that in a moment. Something that sounds like really weird, but actually is pretty darn good. Okay. These wrapped noodle blocks are an absolute pain in the butt. I gotta say. I wish there was a, another way to do it. I'm, I'm glad that they wrapped the noodle block, because otherwise that would be a really really big pain but i'll take the moderate pain in the butt over the violent throbbing and stabbing pain all right boil 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 oh man this is going to be a little stronger I'll have to keep that in mind for the review because I don't have, I'm like that far from the line. Okay. Not much I can do about that. I could put more water in it, but I don't think that's going to serve us very well for this review. So I will leave it to be, and what was that, five minutes? Five to six. I'm gonna do five. I'm doing five. So, what do I have here that's so interesting? Check this out. My buddy in Malaysia sent me this. 
This is called Salt Cola with Mal Himalayan salt. Look at that. Yeah, something different. Cheers. I'm not getting a saltiness from it. But it's good. I like it. I would dare say I would drink this over Coke. But one thing, it's low cal. The whole can 67 calories, so it's not full of sugar. But maybe the addition of the salt makes... Cause it's, it, and it's got like 115 mils of sodium in it. Which isn't a lot. Is it 115? 100 and... It's hard to read. 118? And then 15.6 grams of carbs, which are all sugars. So there's your calories. But, uh, yeah, I like it. I don't know if it's going to come out in the U.S. If it does, I, I recommend it. It's, it's a decent, it's a tasty product. Salt Cola. Well, he sent me a thing to like compare it with original Coke and you're supposed to like try the Coke and then you try this. It's like when you come out with these products, they have, they do like focus groups and stuff and see what, how the response is. And they like do this one, then do this one. And then what do you think? You know, so I guess I'll have to get a regular Coke. I, I think they have them in this size can in the U.S. I don't generally drink regular coke though i usually drink like coke zero and stuff like that so we'll see and the other thing that i got check this out the rockstar people asked me to give this a try and i'm kind of due to do a the ramen raider diet thing if you don't know about it i i lost like 160 pounds i started in 2018 and i was about there and i think in like 2020 and then boom, COVID, lockdowns, crazy business. My mom died. Yeah, so I gained about 50 of it back, but I'm back on it hardcore, so we shall see. Things are looking good in those prospects and the weather has been getting better-ish. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, it'd be, Something cool to try. It's kind of like a bang drink, but it's a rock star drink, but it's powder. So I think maybe Tuesday I'll do that video. I think. Maybe Monday. I don't know. Monday might work. I think it's supposed to dump rain on Monday. No. No, it's not. I don't know, but generally I like to put up the green screen for that. And when I put up the green screen, that's a lot of work. So I'm thinking I need to do that and maybe a couple other things to go along with it so we'll see how it goes something will be done so yeah interesting generally all i do is instant noodles but we've done the chocolate break show we've done we did a couple things i brought back a ton of varieties of chips from taiwan we did some of those um that's more my buddy, uh, the Fat Hipsters domain. Look him up on uh, YouTube. He's got, like, he, he reviews everything. He'll review, like, hey, they got new chicken tenders at Wendy's. Boop. Reviewed. Oh, they got a new weird empanada extremo cotton candy flavored. Yeah, you did cotton candy flavored Kraft Mac and Cheese from Canada. Yeah. That's kind of weird. Um, and then he did the flaming Hot uh, Mountain Dew before I even had heard of it. I like, I got one of these. What you, I was going to get one, and then I didn't, and then I finally did. He was like, it's all right, and then it kind of tastes like heartburn. Like, oh, that doesn't sound appealing whatsoever. <laughs> and honestly, it's not all that great, but what can you do? Didn't you drink that? <laughs> drink, drink that. Yeah, I generally, like, don't like to get any uh, calories out of soft drinks. That kind of, like, not appealing to me because I'm watching that stuff. 
and it just is like why why bother go for the stuff that has no calories but that one's low enough and it has some special benefits to it so sounds good to me and thank you to my buddy Johnny over in uh, Malaysia that was a neat package to get yesterday I didn't do it in an unboxing because I was just like way too stoked to try it so but yeah I am convinced and I enjoy it so let's try Dragonfly Hot and Sour Instant Vermicelli. Here is our sweet potato thread. Um, There's a smokiness in there. Um, um, and it's very strong. That's because I didn't have enough liquid. So I'm not gonna mark them down on points for that. But, mm, not, not feeling it on this one. Ooh, that's hot. There you go. That's that's good with me. Um, I'm gonna add some spring onion and some sesame seed and then call it a day, I think. I'm gonna add a lot of spring onion. Whammo! And some sesame seed. And as I said, I'm going to call this a day, and it is. It's Friday. Friday the 13th, actually. Oh, God. Hopefully sleeping in was the, the worst it'll be today. Hopefully it'll be a good day. I think it will be. Don't you? All right. That's the deal. Well... And there you have it. Thank you for watching yeah and thanks to my buddy for sending the salt cola and thanks to rockstar for sending the the powder stuff and now uh, you'll see that soon oh you'll see it already by the time this is out just look it up yeah ramen raider diet yeah all right this has been hans the ramen raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day nah, i didn't like this one so much have a good one bye bye